Hi everyone, welcome back to Dive Doge Academy and welcome back to Introduction to Programming using Java. Let's do a quick exercise to practice a little bit more about if else statements now using the scanner to get the data from the user. Now, I have a quick exercise here. So basically we have to create a program that allows users to input their username to be saved at a later date. The username cannot be empty. So empty is when technically you just don't type anything and uh, you press enter and we have like empty and blanking. So be careful because blank would be something like this. So you have blank characters here and this entire string is blank. But if you remove and you just have something like this, you don't have any characters. So the string is considered empty. So the rule is the username cannot be empty or be one of the following usernames admin or administrator in any type of capital letter so admin or admin or all of them uppercase should not be allowed to be chosen by the user and then if the user inputs valid data the message username this is what we have stored in the memory should be uh, displayed here was registered successfully so basically a nice message for the user if the user does not input any type of valid data in this case we are ignoring blank for for the time being the user will just show the message invalid username okay so let's get started i'm going to come here press out insert java class and then we have exercise on g journals zero uh, we are at zero five the same process psvm press tab i'm going over the exercise i'm going to copy i'm just clean up a little bit here and then copy this and then copy this okay so let's uh, start first thing is that we should allow the user to input their username we know how to do that through the scanner class so now scanner press enter and i have the import at the first line Remember, try to do the exercise by yourself and then just pause the video. If you have anything that you are struggling, try to do some Googling and only after that to check the solution. And then we have here keyboard. Actually, let's put input and then new scanner and system dot n. So we are allowing this input to, to read messages from the keyboard. Now we need to give a nice message because we're going to read something so let's just add here uh, please type your username or select your username and then we are going to read this data and we are going to store in a variable so basically input dot next so so far we have been doing this we are creating the variable like string and then username and then we are doing input dot next that is another way another shortcut that basically you do what you want like input dot next and then you press alt enter and you see here introduce local variable so basically it will create a string because it knows that the type that this is going to return to us is a string and then we just have to rename it to what we want and press enter so it's a little bit faster once you get used to you are going to develop even uh, faster uh, algorithms Okay, so now we have the username here and we have to do the checks. So first, let's do this. Since sometimes it's a lot, we do step by step. Let's just print the username. Uh, let's give a message here, the successful message. So let's copy this one and we are going to add here. So the username basically here is a variable. And then here we do the following. And we give a space here. Control shift f10 let's try something so i will just press enter you can see that in this case the the input dot next is not considering the enter as a valid character so if i just press one space and then press enter as you can see it's not considering as something that we we can input and store inside our username so basically it looks like the next will do not allow us to have like input uh, empty input but even though it does not allow we are going to check anyway because if we later on change 
let's say we are now receiving something from the keyboard but let's say that later on we are receiving something from like a web browser so we have to be prepared and we have to follow the business logic so let's do the business logic here how do we check first we have three types of checking that we have to be careful the first one it's the easiest one since we are working with strings remember we cannot use the equals equals we have to use the dot equals so let's call this uh, through the username dot equals and then okay see if this guy username is empty i'm just saying here that it's empty what i want to do i want to print the message salt invalid username but we have two other options that we have to be careful now i cannot allow someone to choose the usernames admin or administrator in any type of case so it doesn't matter if it's capital letter or not we should completely block the use of these two usernames we could create different ifs but in this case since we are working with the same type of variable we are working directly with username and if one of these options they are true we should not allow the username creation so basically if the username is, is equals to empty if there is nothing there or and then it comes here so we have administrator or admin so we are going to do the following username dot equals and here is the tricky part because we have to be very careful because if we use equals and we put like this if someone tries to create this username they will be allowed because we saw that the equals will not consider the case of the letters so what we are going to do here hey if the username that the user just typed the value that we have in memory is equals and ignoring any type of case to admin then we are going to have it here invalid username or if username dot equals ignore case administrator as you can see we have kind of a, a line here that usually developers they try to not have the code passing this so if you press ctrl alt l we're going to see that we are just passing through everything but there are some plugins that will organize your code a little bit better and every time they see that your code is passing this line they are going to break a line they will do something like this as you can see this line right here is just one statement as you can see there is no semicolon there is no curly braces so the compiler will read this and it will see oh, looks like nothing is ending this and then it will continue in the line below and then when it says oh looks like here is be the beginning of another statement and then this one will be considered so you can have the same here you could have all of them like this that this is considered for java for the compiler like one line so having three like this and one is exactly the same thing okay so i'm going to break the line here because otherwise it will be too big so let's just break it here okay so we have three conditions if the username is equals to empty if the username is equals ignore case admin or if the username is equals ignore case administrator basically if one of these is evaluated to true we are going to uh, say this is a invalid username else it means that we have a valid username so basically that's why we are using or because as long as one of these is true for me everything should be considered true let's try again Control shift f10 type your username let's try admin okay invite username and then we try again Control shift f10 let's type admin in a different way still invalid username so if valid is working we can try add administrator and then invalid username and as we saw before we cannot input like uh, empty values but we can add spaces and have for example gohan and we can see here that gohan was registered successfully okay so looks like this is everything that we had to do we were able to create a condition where this condition is checking three different uh, cases and if one of these cases 
that we are evaluating is true, we are going to say that it's an invalid username. Otherwise, we are going to say that the username was registered successfully. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.